Hello, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, Arbiter Veldred will be in the Mystic Summon Pool really soon. First of all, I would like to congratulate the people who have been saving the Mystic Summon medals and didn't spend them on Ruel Light or ML Violet, seeing they were really good characters to have. However, not many of us are paid to win, right? So I understand that we really can't collect all the good characters in this game. Anyway, many people are probably wondering whether or not Arbiter Vildred would still be a good character or not for Epic 7 contents in general, in order to invest in him or even spend money for that PD summon. Well, I'm pretty sure that you guys would probably know what his skill set looks like, so I'm not gonna go over it. In this video, I'll just talk about if he's still worth investing, especially with all the new meta and changes from the recent patch notes. Also, not to mention with many new characters such as ML and Jolica, which she could prevent Arbiter Vildred from reviving after death. Or another new character, Selene, which she has an ability to attack a random unit after your team casting a buff skill, which there is a high probability for her to one-shot your Arbiter Vildred. And so with all that being said, the question comes to mind. So is Arbiter Vildred still worth pulling? Absolutely, absolutely yes guys, without any doubt. Because he's still good for both PvP and PvE contents. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how he performs in PvP and also in PvE. I'm with you. Show you my ability. Take this. Faster than lightning. All that's left is ruin. Dark blade. May the holy light save us all. Okay, so that is pretty much a GG for the other team right there. As you notice, Celine she went straight for your Arbiter Vildred right away after Oxlots casting a buff on the teams. Now suppose if your team encountering ML Angelica, which she will prevent Arbiter Vildred from reviving after death, you either go going to have to outspeed her and then make that initial cliff to kill her entire team, or certain specific character on that other team that you want to eliminate. So if you don't have that many speed set for your team, then it's not too late to start farming for it, which I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard nowadays. Moving on to how he performs in PvE contents. Yes, not only is he still a good farmer, but also a good character to have for Hell Raid mode or also for the new Expedition bosses. As you know, this Hell Raid and Expedition bosses is really hard and need a good solid character that could AoE with a good amount of damage on the trash mob as well as the boss minions. Also, that particular character gotta have some sort of ways to survive when the healer is on cooldown to heal during the tough battle. And yes, Arbiter Vildred would be the suitable candidate because he, if he dies, he could revive back up so your healer could maintain his HP in order for his revival skill cooldown to be back up. And as you can see, in this Expedition boss fight, my Arbiter Vildred didn't even need a healer to survive to keep on dealing damage to the boss. You see how powerful that was, right? 
Should you pull for him? Yes, do it. This is once in a lifetime opportunity for you to access your hand on Arbiter Vildred without having to pray for him to show up when summoning through Covenant Summon Pool. And if you have really, really bad luck spending up your saving Mystic Meadow and still not getting him, I say just calmly take out your credit card and spend $300 to buy all those Mystic Meadow packs to get him. It's totally worth it for the PD Summon. I remember back when there was an ML can banner. I, without any doubt, spent $300 to obtain all of those Mystic Metal Packs to get him. And later I realized he was only good for PvP and really bad for PvE. Anyways, that should be it. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't for the upcoming Epic 7 videos. See you again.